Hey guys, welcome back to the Learn to Be Indie channel. And today I'm going to teach you how to script some very simple button functionality into Unity 5's UI buttons. Uh, this tutorial, again, is going to be very short. Uh, it's mainly designed to just teach you how to use these buttons in a very simple way. Um, there's no frills behind this, however, there, is a lot of, there are a lot of things that you can do with this once you've mastered how to get started. So basically, we're going to get going here. We're going to pull out the same project we had from last time. Now, this is the exact same project we use in my last video. And right away here, we're going to create a new UI button. To do this, we go right click UI button, and you'll see this will put a canvas on our screen. But you'll notice that the canvas is not quite aligned with what we're going for here, so we need to align this to the camera. And to do this, we go to render mode, and we'll change this from screen space overlay to screen space camera. We go down to the source camera, and we choose main camera. So, once we have that all done, you'll see our button is now on the screen. It's a little big, but we can fix that. So, what I'm going to do is just center this on the x-axis, on the y too. And we're going to change this slightly. It's a little shorter now. And we change our text by going down to the child object and we can change this to start game and you can change whatever you'd like with the text too so now that we have that done we're now going to need to create the object well the way i like to do it is create an object that holds all our script functionality so i'm going to create an empty game object drag it out here and i'm going to name it menu script And we're going to add a new C Sharp script, and I'm going to also name this Menu Script. And this is just going to control all the functionality for our menu. So we'll open this up. And you can get rid of all the methods that Mono Behavior puts in here. We won't need them for now. And we will create a new public method public void and we're going to call this on start game perfect and in this we're going to want it to log oops log to the console a string perfect and we can load a new scene or change the button layout later. And that's all you have to do. Now, there we go. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to need to go back to our button and we will scroll down to the button script object usually at the bottom and this on click this is where everything uh, starts to come together basically this is where all your button functionality sits anything anytime your button is clicked uh, methods in here will be called so what we're going to do is we're going to take our game object, which in this case is our menu script that holds our function, and we're going to place it into here. And we're going to go down to function and menu script, and you'll see our on start game function that we created in C Sharp. So we're going to select that. And now, anytime we run our game, 
our button will log to the console the string we chose. It's a little big, I didn't really account for the title, but you get the idea. One tip, if you do not see the method that you created in your menu script in the onClick uh, method select, then it is most likely due to the fact that you did not make your method public. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, throw me a like if you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.